So I respect Eminem on a level as a man, but as a rapper, Come on, I feel Slim, like uh, I feel Eminem, like I can Marshall name Mathers. five better rappers. The Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP. I respect Eminem as a man, but as a rapper, Eminem, who's one of the greatest MCs of all time, that many other greats have said he's one of the greatest of all time. And you don't respect his profession and what he's done with his entire career. That makes zero sense whatsoever. Eminem is known for being a rapper. We wouldn't know the man of Eminem the same if it wasn't for his rapping. What kind of opening statement is that? You're just, you're looking to stir the pot immediately, aren't you? I feel like and he's got the sunglasses on, right? So he doesn't have to look at camera. He doesn't have to take accountability and stare it down when he says this thing. He's just going to look cool and off to the side like he's just having a conversation. Okay. All right. Let's see where we go with this, Simba. Marshall name Mathers. five better rappers. The Slim Shady LP, Marshall Mathers LP. Classic it's albums. Fire. Eminem show. Classic it's albums. Fire. Oh, so, man. So, so. How can you say those albums are fire and then right before that you say you don't respect him as a... Okay. Marshall Mathers LP. It's fire. Eminem show. It's fire. Oh, so, man. So, 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 wait. So, wait, 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 wait. So you think you better than Eminem? No. I, no, like Don't I just want to know. Do you think you're better than Eminem? Don't do it. My honest opinion? Yeah, I want your honest opinion. Yes. I think every rapper's going to say that they're better. Yes. Uh, I'm not it. mad at that. I respect it. You feel that way. I Any, respect it. Anybody can rhyme words. What are you saying? Oh, man. But to, to, the, Simba, the lady asked you Hey, the girl that's yelling, the girl that's yelling, <laughs> rap me an Eminem verse. Oh. She got quiet. She not on the panel. Rap me an Eminem verse. She got quiet. I'm sorry, what? You're going to act like people don't know Eminem's lyrics? Let's compare numbers, Simba. Let's look at what Eminem has done worldwide. How many platinum, diamond, how many albums and statistics and streams he's done compared to how many you've done. If you're going to use that flex like, oh, nobody really bumps this man or feels him or supports him. And you're going to try to make it a popularity contest. Well, one, you better make sure that you are more popular than that motherfucker that you are talking about. This is absolutely wild. Now, listen, the comments of, is he a better rapper than Eminem? I have no problem with saying, yeah, I think I can rap with one of the greats. I have no problem with believing in yourself and having that confidence. At the end of the day, hip-hop is a competitive sport. It's a contact sport. We have to believe we're the best. You know, with all the fucking hate that we get all the negativity, all the odds and factors against us, if you don't have belief in yourself, if you don't have that self-confidence, you're never going to make it as an MC. So I have no problem saying that. But at the same time, there's a way to say that, to say that, yeah, I, I can rap at this level while still paying homage to someone. Not just going, yeah, I can out-rap them. Yeah, one of the widely accepted greatest rappers of all time, one of the goats, yeah, pff, easy. I'll knock them out of the park. See, there's... There's having that confidence and composure with it. And then there's just like going way over the top and using hyperbole. And for me, I don't know. Is man down bad? Like, is he not getting the right sales or clicks? Because I did a simple breakdown on Patreon. I liked him. I liked the freestyle. I liked what he did. He had some clever wordplay, some clever bars. You know, we break it all down. But technically, technically, he was not superior than Eminem in that breakdown. So unless there's like a bunch of hidden shit that is somewhere out there, just a treasure trove of diamonds. It's a little difficult to get away saying that. He, he must be looking for something. It, it just feels like here we are again, having this discussion, being in this situation. We did it with Game. We've done it with Lord Jamar. We did it with Melly Mel. Surprise, surprise. It's like same news cycle, rinse and repeat. It's time for someone else to want to get some clicks. Time for someone else to want to get some attention. Is there some type of coerced effort behind the scenes? People have that much of a problem with Eminem because he's white and he's one of the best rappers. Fucking get over it. Grow up at this point in time, right? One of the best rappers is white. Oh, fucking well. <laughs> I mean, you, you can either accept it and roll with it or deny it. But at the same time, look, all that Eminem has done for hip hop, that man is always paying homage to other greats. He's always uplifting those in the hip hop community. He is always carrying the torch of hip-hop. It's not like he's one of the greats and he's just making it about him or he's even making it about race. He is trying to give back to hip-hop to continue the foundations. He has a love, a respect, 
and a passion for it. And I wish that other MCs would show Eminem that same level of respect that they show other MCs. Because it is. It's a slap in the face. It's fucking disrespect. And for Simba running around talking about rhyming words, rhyming words, yes, that's what rappers do. But Eminem does way more than rhyme words. We know that. He wouldn't have had the longevity that he's had if he just rhymed words. He wouldn't have so many people. You know how people bitch and complain about stands and how wild and fanatical Eminem's fan base is? Well, you don't get a fan base like that unless you emotionally connect with people. The sing for the moments, the lose yourselves, the not afraids, all the songs that Eminem has done over the years, the versatility that he has showcased from his storytelling ability to his flows, to his multi-syllable rhyme schemes, to his insane wordplay, and everything in between that he has done and impacted. If you just rhymed words and had shallow, you know, flibbity-hibbity music that like lyrical, spiritual, miracle rappers get critiqued for nowadays, no, he wouldn't still be doing the numbers that he's doing. You have to appreciate the talent even to this day and what he's doing. Simba, fucking get back in the booth. Get back in the studio. Work on your craft. Hone it. Less of this, more of this. I'll catch you guys later.